Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're back. We sure are. Uh, D3 Plus preview. Woo! The people's level. I love this because there's good, a lot of the good players, and then you start getting some of the players that are good but have home jobs. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't oh, asked. You know, you know you will be this year. If you want to, if, yeah. you know, if you want, if, if we need a player, you want to play, uh -huh. you can. Uh, okay. you're, always, you're always there. All right. Oh yeah, I'm there. All right. <laughs> I know that. I see that. I was like, maybe Mark will be. I, I was too embarrassed in the play chat to even post my teams. That's <laughs> why so Nick like forced me. <laughs> I'm he like, am I? Me too. And then all of a sudden he's on three. And then all of a sudden I found out like around the bush. He didn't even tell me. Oh no. Well, yeah, I did. You had the flu. I still day. don't think so I would have remembered. She told me that she was young. <laughs> he, does, he does. He's like, well, I did tell you what, uh, the other day when you were sick. I'm like, I was literally dead for two days. That doesn't count. She works in marriage, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think it Brendan's is. excuse was like, it just kind of happened. I'm yeah. Because <laughs> I found out on a comment yeah. of something that Brendan and Jake, I yeah, think. Jake Daria. Yeah. yeah. Had, yeah I thanks. was like, uh. And this is how the wife found out. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyways, enough about me. Uh, I was going to talk to you. You're going to be refing and scorekeeping yet again, it appears, this year. Scorekeeping. Yeah. Ref, if needed, I don't like to. Yeah. But. I think people respect you as a ref, though, in my honest opinion. You're you, not you, very you, hateable at all. So I I, I think enjoy it's because it I'm not ref. afraid to, like, call. Like, I don't, I can admit I don't know much. Mm -hmm. But I know what you can do mm -hmm. and what you can't do. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what, and yeah, I let some things play out, you know, but at the same sense, if I see it happen more than once, yeah, you obviously got caught. That, and that's what every ref says. Mm. Nick will say it. Yeah. Marty will say it. Bobby will say it. And you will yeah. see Bobby during the summer tournament. But yeah. any ref will say that. They see it once, they let it go. It happens again. It's more aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, like a shoulder shove or like a slash or. Something uh, very unnecessary, you know, obviously it will get called, yeah. you know, if it's yeah. one-sided. If it's both, like say if you and I are going for something mm -hmm. and it's aggressive, it's fine. But if it's one-sided, like me and you, mm -hmm. or vice versa, then yeah, yeah, one of us will get called, so. Okay. Um, it seems like, in my personal opinion, for my first year working there, I think they trust you like the most. Like when you joke around that you're the A plus team, or maybe you're not joking. I think you probably did serious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he means that. Like he trusts you a hundred percent. It seems like mm -hmm. uh, is that uh, your demeanor helps. I think because you don't get caught up with people yelling from both sides as a yeah. scorekeeper. Yeah. I mean, and you pay attention. Yeah, you don't have yeah. an attitude. Like no, that. I mean, right. I'm up there because I wouldn't be up there scorekeeping if I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I could say mm -hmm. some days when you get I get off work, I don't I just want to go home. Yeah. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I like there's Sundays where I'm not playing or like a Monday night when it's when the women are playing. Like I get bored, so I want to go up and just watch because I'll see you up there or I'll see mm -hmm. Plum up there or Nick and Pat because you know the Ryan's mom plays or your wife's playing or mm -hmm. Nick and Pat are always up there because they live up there. But yeah. it's just one of those things where I enjoy being up there. But when I'm, if I'm scorekeeping, and this team is bitching at this team, like I'm like, all right, both of you, enough. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you're not getting paid to play. Mm -hmm. Right. It's for fun. Mm -hmm. You know, people do it for exercise, or they they just want something competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, so at the end of the day, it doesn't mean a thing to bitch at each other. Right. Like, right. You know, but right. obviously you and I have, can admit. You get caught up in a moment while you're a player. Yeah, you know that that's, that, that happens. Right. But you're competing at the same time to where you're working. Sure. You know, but yeah. yeah. And I'll sit on the bench. I'll, I'll you know bullshit with you or talk to somebody random. Mm -hmm. You know, just yeah. just because. I mean, right. You're having fun. Right. Exactly. Right. You right. Know, so yeah. Okay. Um, if, as far as I can remember, at least the past few years, you've done the D1 championship game as a scorekeeper, right? Mm -hmm. Are you make... talking regular season or summer tournament? No, summer tourney, I'm sorry. Yeah, summer tourney. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That makes me nervous just watching you. <laughs> For you. I, 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 but it appears to me like you just carry the same demeanor There's a lot going into it like you would any other game. Yeah. Um... It's just you're more focused. So yeah. like I can admit, like I hate to admit this, but like 
if I'm watch if I'm working a D one regular season game or like any other game, I'm I'll dick around on my phone or something. Or if it's fall time and football's on, I've yeah. heard you watch I'm, Bears games <laughs> on Monday games. nights. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've, I got it propped up on the scoreboard. So I think yeah. I was maybe next to you one time. Yeah. I, watched, I was like, "What are you doing?" I'm watching the Bears game. Sorry, <laughs> but when it comes to summer tournament, you know, my phone's in my pocket or on the on the table, and I'm watching the ball. Like when I trained you, I was like, mm-hmm. "If you don't, if you." Lose the ball, then you've lost, you know, like, what's going on. So I've always, yeah. I'll sit there and I'll w- try to watch the orange ball go everywhere I can. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm cross-eyed. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. but if you, it's pretty much you just pay, you just pay attention. That's all I do. The only bad thing is when there's a, a, a shit ton of penalties, yeah. you're like, okay, give me yeah. one at a time. Right. right. That's the way I am. Or I'll even write it down now. Like, give me that yeah. one, give me that one. It's okay. just, the bad yeah. thing is, is when... There's a lot of scoring going on, mm-hmm. you know, when you're trying to you put in a goal. You stop the clock, you had the shot, you had the goal. If you watch the ball, you obviously know who scored, but you don't know the assist. And then you hit you hit start, and you're trying to watch and do the tablet at the same time. <laughs> All of a sudden, another goal gets scored, and you're stop, 1-1, one, one, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just how fast you can be, but be consistent and just yeah. stay calm. Right. That's I've the sat with thing. him a couple times when he's done it. I get headaches. I'm like, I don't know how you. It's yeah. I, I would I would on. encourage anybody that bitches about scorekeeping or refing in general. Try it once. Your tune will change. That's what heart. Yeah. that's what people say yeah. about refing. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big factor, and I would used to bitch at the refs, but I didn't know what was going on because mm-hmm. I was playing, and the refs the one calling all the shots technically. Yeah. So you bitch at them. I go to ref, and I'm like, holy hell! Like I think my first night was a ladies' night. But it was a D2 game, mm-hmm. right? Is it D2 and D3? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a higher level women's game. You know, it's equivalent to a D5 plus D5 game, I think. And it's still fast paced. I'm like, okay, by myself, I got to, I'm watching Courtney, but then she goes to get off and Selena coming on, like, and she touched the ball. Like, you have to think so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would and be then, hard. And then you finally learn, okay, yeah. I understand how much stress they're under, but then you go to play and they're like, okay, I would have called that a penalty, but you're not. Right, mm-hmm. right. You know, that's the worst part about playing with Nick. Yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> like, sure. He wants to call penalties yeah. as he's playing. Yeah. But it's all your personal preference as a ref. Mm-hmm. You know. So. Right. Yeah, man, yeah, man, props to you. I know you walked by me last year in the summer tourney for that final game. I'm like, yeah, it's all yours, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, Thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I want no part of that. Part yeah, no yep. part of that. Yeah. yeah. I will say the front row seats really nice. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. That's the best, true. That's the right. best part. That's, yep. That's, that's true. That's one thing I don't like when you're watching a D1 game. I mean, I like it because people are friendly and they want to talk, but you want to watch the game and like five people are talking to you. Mm-hmm. Like, but I want yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah, I want. I, I'm. It's D one, so it's your high level. Yeah. You're at a national tournament. Right. Yeah. You've got all these people here. It's the best of the best that you you know watch on the weekly, and yeah. you got teams from all over that come. You know, you want to. You know, yeah. I and I understand yeah. that you want to watch, but you know. Yeah. You got Susie over here wanting to have a conversation. Tommy right. wants to have one at the same time. It's right. like, yeah. shut up until the game's over. <laughs> yeah, Give me exactly. 40 minutes and then I'll right. talk to you. Exactly, right, yeah. But as far as uh, Sam said, uh, last year the summer tournament went out of his. She said mm-hmm. it was the best one we've had, so I'll take her word for it. So. I will too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. will say that. Right, yeah. You've gotten to know them pretty well, seems like. Seems like you're pretty close to them. Is mm-hmm. there something... We don't know about them that maybe you know, like personality wise. Sam is the glue. Okay. Really? Okay. That woman. Okay. I always tease her. I go, she's technically got three kids in the house Louie, Luca, and, mm-hmm. and Pat. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and I can see that. <laughs> Pat is a big kid himself. Yeah. And then you had, you know, Nick and Matthew, the uncles. Yeah. yeah. You know, the funkles, the fun uncles. Funkles. Right. You know, she's yeah. got to deal with all that. Oh, geez. But yeah, Sam. Of course. Sam. Yeah, Sam, Sam helped. Sam's the. The glue, yeah, okay, make everything run smooth, okay, you know, and and Nick, so yeah, but yeah, I that's probably one of my favorite families I love hanging out with. Yeah, yeah, just because right, they when it's the weekend time and they're at home, no hockey gets talked. Really? Oh. If, if we're at swimming in the pool, it's whatever's going on there. That surprises me. I figured yeah. they'd be twenty four seven. It uh, some I like summer tournament time. Like yeah, if they're building teams. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. like. Right. Two weeks before, they're like, "Hey, what do you think of this guy? This guy? This guy?" Mm-hmm. But then out of that, you know, it's it's whatever. Oh, okay. so I love it. That's what cool. What do they talk about when they're not talking about hockey? Whatever they're dealing with. 
or whatever yeah. they got going on. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, if it's ice season, you know, Nick's out playing. Mm-hmm. You know, like we'll sit there and talk about that. Or um, I don't really talk to Sam like I would Nick and Pat. Mm-hmm. But you know, I know Sam has got her new. Uh, Oh, the clothing line. The clothing, kids clothing line. line. Yeah. yeah. Kids yeah. clothing line that's going, so. Wild things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, stick around later this week. I review my all toddler lineup. <laughs> he really presented is. Presented by Wild Clothing. <laughs> 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 but thank you. Yeah. He does some fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, do. I love this. Yeah. You going to model it? If they want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get someone like Jake Dare or Reese Moe or someone. <laughs> that's cool man yeah yeah i can see that sam's always been this to me sensible she, yeah she, and i've she, never seen her yeah. like flustered like that right. week she's got a thousand things coming at her yeah. with what nick and pat throw at her sure you know because they're the you could say that business people mm-hmm. you know nick or pass the spokesperson for a deck when nick's the the backfield guy who does all the um, teams, you know, putting the teams in and then scheduling us. Yeah. You know, I've worked, I've helped Nick, you know, put rosters in and then set the schedule up for oh. us workers. Oh, okay. I mean, it's hectic, but he does it all himself wow. as one person. I wouldn't want to set up no, game then, schedules. That would no. be impossible. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he's, he's sent me multiple Snapchat photos of his emails. It's like, oh, this is fun. And there's like a hundred messages in there that he hasn't opened. Oh my God. Because it's all deck related and trying to cram that in two weeks worth of planning and scheduling and then you know for a five-day tournament and then you're playing at the same time right. you know it's stressful but right they they seem to make it work and as you can tell it's been a success for yeah eight years now i or think, 10 years, think 10 we're years? talking 10 years now Holy yeah cow, yeah wow. right right yeah so, yeah props yeah. to them yeah big agreed time, <laughs> big time props oh agreed yeah for sure yeah yeah i i don't know where i've been the last 10 years without it i mean just sitting on my ass. <laughs> what would you? Again, I don't know. <laughs> I that a lot. Yeah, actually, actually yeah, yeah, I do. Seriously, like, yeah. What, what would what would I be doing? Because yeah. I I said when I was done out of high school, I was never gonna do anything. I might have played yeah. slow pitch, but yeah. I never thought I'd be playing hockey. No, yeah. I never would have. No, <laughs> no. And I'm sure I've said this before. When I first pl- told my brother, I'm like, this sounds ridiculous and stupid. I want to play. It. And then I play it the next day. I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, you, know, you, you play four nights a week or three yeah. nights a week and you, you hate it. So worse right, than yeah. right. And all of a sudden you're back there the next year or the next day. Yeah. It's like, right. He's always right. like, I'm going to retire. I'm like, what are you going to do when you retire? I've like... said, I'm going to retire or quit. And I'm yeah. Always, I'm always back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll dive into three plus if you don't mind. Uh, uh, shit. The last year's crew winning in stunning fashion <laughs> over the dailies. Kind of like, I cheated. thought they cheated us. Oh. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's six teams vying for the title. We got the Rockets. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. I don't know if that's homage to, homage the, to the Rocket. Or to the Rocket. A little rocket launcher. A little teaser. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Anyways, uh, Marvin Little's the, actually the captain. So, Elliot Little, Brett Algren, Cole Baskerville, Brian Mor- Moriarty, Sam Lysak, Kobe Shaft, Grant Schoolrood, right? Yep. Mike Schoolrood, and Carol Plouffe, and Brandon Harvey and Goal. Can I say, I wonder how many people watch this just to hear you try to pronounce people's names. Yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honesty is key. Yeah, yeah. Honesty is key. Yes. That is a whole new team, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to have to like rethink our <laughs> Like, put more thought into it next yeah. time, Dan. What are you doing? Huh. Okay. Elliot, it's nice to see Harvey still playing, though. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Elliot, he's not from Chicago, is he? Elliot Little? Yeah. No, he's always played. He played in, oh, uh, he played for Duck City. Okay. Um, okay. I, yeah, I just don't know. Okay. Yeah, he's he's always been a higher level guy. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, some of those guys I still don't know. Him and Carol and Skullroot all played together. Because they run that, um, Purple team last year, what the fuck are they were called? Triber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them were, yeah. Okay, yep. cool, yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's a solid team. Uh, QC Mutiny makes their grand return. Hey. Derek Rotz. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, okay. You mean, feel free. Derek Rotz, Briar Wilson, Scott Dalby, Sean McMillan, Dan Noblock, Jake Drum, John Davis, Cole Brown, Dakota Bacus. <laughs> Why don't you just do the names for me? And, Dakota Bacchus, I would uh, say. And Braden Hathaway in goal for them this year. So it's Nikki. I assume it was a work deal, but. That's pretty much the same team as last year, right? Yeah, it's an identical team besides uh, Dakota's new. I yeah, I can't put a face to the name, but he's the name sounds familiar. But yeah, that's just about the same team. Braden played a lot in the playoffs for him. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, I love Braden. He's one of my favorites down he's there. A good kid. He's yeah. always he, he gets he's one of those kids that gets down on himself, but if you if you keep saying positive things to him, you just see him. Yeah. He gets out of his funk and he just lights out. So mm. that's the one thing I like about him and. It's good to see a kid his age that you can, you can say those positive things and you see him turn turn around like right there on the spot. So yeah, were you around? I I guess I missed mainly the glory days of Muni. Like they knocked off like a bunch of championships back in the day, right? With PJ and Dakota yeah. and I was just yeah. starting to play D two. Okay. So, and then the dailies formed after Smoking Dog and then that rivalry. That's the best rivalry hands down. Oh really? The Duck City. <laughs> okay. Duck City. The uh, mutiny and dailies. Oh, that was hardcore. Mm -hmm. Okay. One win the spring, the other yeah. one in the fall. There was never. I think towards the end there, it finally got to be a repeat by the dailies. So. Oh, okay. I think their main issue last year, we played them. They just had lack of players. Like it was mm -hmm. five, six players. Like yeah. they would hang till about the third, and then. We played them. We played them I twice think. in the playoffs, right? Do we? we, we it was the second time. Remember they yeah. had four guys. Yeah. Eight? They had four guys, and all of a sudden, one guy showed up that was rostered in the third period. I'm like, that was dumb of you to show up, but yeah, right. I mean, they made it a close game. They, they did, played yeah. Played like crap, right? Yeah, yeah. So cool, man. Yeah. Um, Edward Jones, three plus, is back in the house. Danny Barnes, Chris Caspers, Matt Fronson, Brian Bush, Matt Resler, the Bear, Mayor John Bear, Adam Frederick. Brandon Evans and goal at Pierce. There's still a couple short, evidently. I think Evans is going to play out. That's okay. That's a team I kind of helped Caspers with. Um, was, he was looking for guys. He doesn't know yeah. <coughs> enough higher level guys, but right. he picked up Frederick and then John Mayer is a full time guy now. Yeah. Sub man. That's another good team. Yeah. Oh, Andy yeah. Barnes is full time. He played with us. Yeah, I like year. him. Yeah, he's got a good attitude. He like, does. yeah, because there's a couple times where I fucked up, not getting it to him in the right place and stuff. But he's like, hey man, that's cool. You know, you get yeah. next time. I mean, sometimes when guys are D two, they'll, they'll just stare at you. Like, what, yeah, yeah, the like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all team. If they find a couple more players, mm -hmm. Frederick, man, he's been taken off. He has. Yeah. Unbelievable. Let's get into. Oh, hell, let's skip them first. Yes. Oh, you do that. Thank you for stopping by on the show. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed back in. Be nice. Yeah, you're welcome. Y'all are still chatting when I get back in. Well, I, uh, like the Rosner that one night yes. where we spoke for like five hours on hockey. <laughs> I was when I got home and you guys were still talking. Yeah, we you did like. Ball? Yeah, Rosner, yeah. He brought a notebook last year. Oh, geez. yeah. He's like, What's the script for the show? I'm like, Huh? <laughs> you know? Like, you just show up and talk, and he came here with like a whole notebook, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's not us. Right. <laughs> all right. So, all you need me to do is put, push off, right? When I'm done. Yeah. Because I'm an idiot. Thanks, boss. It's still a square, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it I certainly know. is. Thank you. Thanks for having me over if I'm not here to say that. Yeah. You're welcome. Good seeing you. You as well. Yeah. You'll we'll probably see you Sunday. Probably. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Are you driving? Oh, if, if it's raining out there, take the middle lanes down Locust. Otherwise, that oh. car might sink in the rain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the old hockey. Oh, where the hell are we? Yeah, I went. I switched to Davies here. Sean Clark, Mike Holst, Wade Watson, Drake Diamond, Justin Hauer, Logan O'Brien. Tyler Rashi, 
They call him Buddy evidently. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. Scorekeeper. Ravi Patel, Colin Carstens, and the newly rated three-plus goalie, Chad Canelli. This team. <laughs> they mean business, eh? I'm going to need to have a talking to with the uh, old Nicky. Yeah. I mean, granted, yeah, I can sit here and complain mm -hmm. and bitch and moan, but because it's the league I play in yeah. like, that I'm rated in, so like that's why I, I want to see fair competition. All right. You know, but... Yeah, that's uh, that's the exact same team. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. From, ah, no, I lied. Okay. Holst is full time. Oh, uh, he was. Uh, he sub. He, he, yeah. he subbed every game. Though. Why didn't they just do a roster transaction? I don't know. Oh, okay. They should have. Yeah. Probably saving Holst money, but well, which sure. is understandable. Yeah, yeah it's I a know. long season. You never know sometimes. No, yeah, I can get that. Yeah. Um, and Sean's full time. Yeah. Sean Clark. I'm trying to think of who they, who they let go from last season, but yeah, that's. It's virtually the same season. Virtually, yeah. Uh, the same team as what they had in uh, 21? Yeah, that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, yeah, 20, yeah, 20, yeah. Right, After yeah. 20, I forgot about 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's me. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot what I did yesterday. So. Same. Wait till you get 40, man. You go <laughs> <laughs> Were you shocked last year that they didn't win the championship? I got to be honest. I thought... Well, we always hope like the team we were on would, but then I'm like, okay, um, well, if we don't, then uh, to me, Daly's... The, yeah, the way they started the season out, mm -hmm. up until, like, I was gone for one of our Bandits games, and we beat them. Yeah. I was like, hey, maybe I'm a culprit. Like, <laughs> that's because we, we won, like, two or three games, and we're like, can not show up to? Uh-huh. Um, and then they kind of teetered off. And I, I wouldn't say teetered off to where they were losing, but they teetered off on how many points they were putting up, yeah. how many goals. S tournament comes around. We had a good run against them. Mm -hmm. and I thought they were going to give Crew a run for it. Yeah. Just for the mere fact, Crew and the – did they go to a game too? Yeah, pretty sure they did. They had to. Well, they had to, but yeah, they, uh, they won. They had to have because that game, Crew didn't have – like they only had like five people because Matt Levesque was playing out for him, mm -hmm. which that was another good player addition on yeah. Nick's part, right? To add, but I thought right. Daly's from the start of the season was going to win it all. To be honest, with you. Uh, no, that's the way I felt. Just from the little competition I had from a few games I had, I yeah. just felt like there there was no weak link. There was anywhere. no weak link. Um, <laughs> Canelli was playing lights out. Then you had Mister Roger the Rabbit. Carstens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. running around in circles. Right. But yeah, I. E, 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 three plus yeah. is another is one of those like throw up league. Right. Never had, like, I mean, we'll get to the bandits. With, yeah. You know, obviously, I can talk more on that with how our season went. Mm -hmm. You know, right. how we played as a whole, but yeah. you just never know. Right. You know, so when later in the year it gets game. Tw Did we play 24 games? Yeah. So you get to game like 20, 21, you're like, oh. Right. You know, you get wore out, then you play five, six more playoff games. Right. You know. Right. But. Yeah. It's it's another good team. Yeah, for sure. Another very good team. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back to the champs. Crew, three plus. Uh, I didn't go. Yeah. Okay. All these names run together now. See some of these three times. I uh, had Nick Levesque, of course, back. Playing goal. Goal. Yeah, okay, yeah. Austin Hoots, Liam Quinn, Drew Taylor, Vic Gongram, Mickle, Cole Neese makes the jump up to three plus and well deserved. And Alex yes. Bocher. Bocher? I botched his name. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, oh, yeah, shows Matt Levesque, and he'll be playing out, so I think mm -hmm. they just need to flip that. But yeah. since they all run it, they can fix that. <laughs> right. uh, good team? No, Brendan. Brendan? No. Nope. No, nope, nope. he wanted to No, he didn't. He wanted to. He was trying to build a team, I heard. Oh, okay. He was trying to build one because he was trying to get me to come play for Oh, him. okay. Like, ah, right. I don't know we're doing bandits yet. But, right. yeah. Okay. He's not playing. I think they. There's one. Oh, is Frederick on the team too? Oh no. So no. I think they must have added Cole and. Yeah. The voucher, Butcher. Yeah. Right. Sorry, a bunch of names. Yeah, we're yeah. 
I'm not dumb. smart. We we're not smart at all. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife's not here to help me out, so we're really screwed. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I mean, still a solid team, though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so. Once again, even though Nick's in net, he still plays the same yeah. system. Yeah. And it helps with Nickelright on the team, because Nickelright is the... Like the messenger? The, yeah, messenger bench leader yeah. for um, the three-plus team, obviously, because you can't hear Nick from... The net, so whatever right. Nick's saying, Nick will translate. But yeah, yeah, it's the same system, and goes to show it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hard to argue it. Yeah, exactly. right. All right, well, let's move on to the BD Bandits three plus. <laughs> oh, Patrick Levesque. Are we serious? Yeah, we kept him in that. Yeah. So. You said the rankings changed, right? You're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We else like that. Right. Come back. Okay. <laughs> okay then. If anybody's looking for a player in three plus, I am available. David Bud, I love David Bud. Just had a kid. Yeah. Congrats. And, he, and yeah. Brian Warden. Yes. And then Sellers. So we got. Bud, Brian, they just yeah. had kids that are on the team. All right. Sellers just had his daughter last year. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, God. I'm trying to think of who else. And Pat, Luca's, I think, going to be two. But we got mm -hmm. the future bandits right there. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Not bad at all. No, yeah, not, yeah. Not the right time. Right. Uh, Michael Middleton, I just love that guy. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of heart. Love yeah, it. yeah, I love I love players like that. Bradley Wheeler makes his return. Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, Alex Sellers, of course. His line mate Brian Wardong. Uh, Chris Plum. Chris came back too. Yes, he Plus, looked great in Buffalo the other he night. Did. Yes. He yeah, did. Yes, yes. Yes. I know he's yes. been skeptical after his his knee surgery, but he's. He's back to it, and I love it. Yeah, me too, yeah. Is it Secret Player next? Yeah. 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 What would you say to that one? Ryan Plum. He's back, baby. Whew. I got a little happier just now. Yeah. 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 All, right. All right. Great. Well, that's that's that seems to make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Once I seen those rankings, yeah. I go, Ryan, you want to play yeah. three plus? He goes, Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up, yep. Buttercup. <laughs> All right. You, of course. Oh, Josh Beard. Beardo. Nice. Yes. And okay. then we have trusty Pat Levesque in net, which... Trusty? He was trusty in the playoffs. Yes, he was. He was. He Holy balled out in the playoffs. Yeah. Yes. During the season, we're like, dude, this is bad. Right. And all of a sudden, playoff comes. He doesn't talk. He doesn't laugh at anybody. He doesn't fool around. He's locked in. Yeah. And he plays lights out. Yeah, he played great. I'm like, Pat, can you give us more of those lights out games during the year so we feel more confident? Yeah. And we're not like... This was a bad, this was a big mistake. Right. But uh, Beardo, mm -hmm. Josh Beard, we call him Beardo. Yeah. That's what he goes by. Um, he st he must have messaged Stacy, and Stacy sent a text to Ryan and I, and oh. excuse me, said uh, Josh Beard's looking to play again. Mm -hmm. The openings, I'm like, yeah, we need one guy because I didn't, I was tired. Of, Ryan and I couldn't find anybody that was yeah. on the team. Right. And I was like, yeah, we'll take him. Oh. I've always loved playing with Beard. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. We played, um, I think, when you played a full season with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D3, right? Yes. Yeah. You, Beard will play with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. The last time we all won a yeah. cup together. Right. Was in D3. Mm -hmm. So, I think he's the X Factor. That's why we're bringing him back mm -hmm. to win us a cup again. Sure. But he messaged in the group chat today that said, uh, Probably after the first period, I'm going to be dead. I go, after my first shift, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> right, right. So yeah. it works out perfect, but I'm glad he's back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we virtually have the the same team as last year, just yeah. added Chris and Ryan, um, Bradley and Beardo. Mm-hmm. Added five and it's, or four, and we took away four, so. Okay. I thought you guys had a solid team last year, just mm -hmm. at time, man, just times it just didn't go right, it seemed like. It's, no. Yeah, so it's kind of like snowball too. Like yeah. it'd be two one, two one, really late through, and then all of a sudden. Shit. I think we only had out of the twenty four games. I think this is just a guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe four or five games that were a blowout. Okay, so yeah, you were in Big every game, blowout. right? Other than that, it was a one or two goal games, or we'd be winning and then all of a sudden we'd blow it, or we'd come back and 
we'd lose by one. Mm-hmm. You know, if it was two nothing, we'd lose by one. Or yeah. there was a lot of shootout games we had. Um, yeah. But like, like I said, we're like right there, just like a lot of the you know, crew. Mm-hmm. Crew and dailies, you know, they're I would say they're about even. Yeah. You know, us. Mm-hmm. It, uh, the bandits and Edward Jones, they're. Like, right there. It just depends on the night. Yeah. Uh, haven't seen the Rockets, but there's a lot of guys that have played together before. Right. You know, a lot of top, not top tier, but top level guys like Brett Algren, mm-hmm. who plays one and two plus, Carol yeah. and Elliot, Skolru that have played, you know, one, two plus. Mm-hmm. His son, Mike's son, Grant. But this is a league where I was hoping that it would go back to D two and three plus separately. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the one where they combined right. D two and three plus together because we only had three teams in D two. Yeah. So they they mess with not mess with the rings, but they messed with how many you can have in the league to, okay. to variate that. But uh, okay. I think it'll be another good year in three plus. Yeah, man. Three plus, I, yeah. I think all top three levels. Right. Yeah. It could be crazy, yeah. It, we did, uh, previewed a uh, couple of the lower divisions last night, Phil, and I just looked at, there's just, yeah, a bunch of teams that can win this, man. The competition is going to be insane. Mm-hmm. I will say, uh, I'm not 100% confident, confidently picking a team like we did in the podcast episode <laughs> for winter tournament because I went 0 for 3, 0 for 4, however many leagues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just, just say this team looks good. That team looks good. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I went. Yeah. Yeah. If it's anything like the way I was betting the NCAA tournament. Yeah, it was gonna be <laughs> bad. <laughs> There's a bunch of tickets over there. Help yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you bet on deck hockey, would you? Yeah. I think I'd only yeah. bet on. I'd bet summer tournament games. Yeah. Yeah. There's a way to do it. Yeah. 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 I, I I probably would to be honest. Yeah, I probably would too. Yeah. A bunch of people that would. Yeah, I think I know, there would I be. Call you out yeah, Ryan, but I know yeah. Ryan would. Yeah, Lisa Dahl, Nathan Joyce. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. There, yeah, we'd all be in. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be interesting. It would be. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Like over unders or something too. Yeah. I mean, you could that could be yeah. like a, a side bet, like over under, how many goals total goals scored. But you never know. Like, the one year that the Deckheads played Louisiana. Oh right. They came back from. Was it like seven down? Seven one. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they always talk about it, it's like seven one. Right. And seven two. Yeah. They kept going. They would right. count up, but yeah. Yeah. That would be. That'd be tough to do. I think. I think it'd, so. It'd yeah. Be it would be. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell not? Yeah. I'll, yeah. Well, summer tournament 2022. Yeah. I'm going to set up yeah, a table. Yeah. I just became uh-huh. a bookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to make some money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take Venmo, PayPal. Yeah. All that. Whatever, man. We'll get you. Or just straight cash. It's, it's just matter. straight cash, homie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's probably the only damn person watching some of the IRS. <laughs> yeah. We're kidding. Yeah, we are absolutely not kidding. <laughs> so you you're still the captain of this team though, right? Yep. And then with Ryan on board, yeah. I kind of was like, hey, you can help me with this. What do you think of being captain? Because I got to tell you, I've come in my return being captain, and I'm already ready to hand that off. It's hard. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, it's hard because um, you get down to you get to like this the vacation times like Memorial Day weekend. It was nice with having a, the Waterloo tournament, so we got the whole weekend off, mm-hmm. which it's gone now, obviously with the deck being gone. Yeah. But you get into like June, July, you know, August, like the summer months where people are taking vacations. So right. It's like, okay. When are you going to be gone this day? You know, mm-hmm. Brian Warden, for example, he's very good. Yeah. Very, very good about saying, hey, I'm gone from this date in June to this date in June. Mm-hmm. And then I get in this date in July, in July, you know. Yeah. And so forth. And I'm always one that I'll forget, even though it's in a text message. I'll be like, I always send out the normal message, you know, and I'll say it again. But mm-hmm. that's always tough because you're looking for subs for your team. Yeah. You go to ask somebody, no, I'm on vacation. Right. You know, and, and vice versa. And then you get yeah. down to playoff time. You know, I was crunching you to get – I was – trying to get you six mm-hmm. games I sat out for a couple mm-hmm. so that could happen yeah you know and that's and that's tough but I think right. 
that's probably the hardest part over trying to build a team. Okay. So you enjoy building a team? I would much rather build the team. Yeah. Than be in charge throughout the year. Yeah. You know, looking for captains like. Ryan and I obviously will tag team. Mm -hmm. You know, this year it's like, hey, I can't. We need a sub. I've asked this amount of people. All right. Well, Ryan hasn't played in three plus for so long. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know who's playing and who's not. Right. To where I I have a whole another set of people I can ask. Mm -hmm. You know, type deal. So it, it's nice when you have teamwork like that. But mm -hmm. I've also taken reins on myself, where it's me only. You know, doing payments. Um, if you need to order a jersey or finding subs and things like that, but yeah. it's 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 tough. Right? Have you had last year? Obviously, across the board is a bad worst season ever, as far as our uh, the whole. Yeah. It was uh, have you had like had the made decision this year or in the past where you've had to cut somebody and maybe it's someone you even like? Um, this year we did. Yeah. Just because. Or this year I did yeah. because of um, they were gone a lot. Okay. Or they yeah. never would respond, so I'm like done. Right. It is tough because, you know, throughout the year you're like, yeah, this this guy, you know, Steve's not going to come back. Mm -hmm. We don't want him anymore. Yeah. Well, then me being me, yeah, I can be an ass. I'll admit to it. But at the same, you know, at the same sense, like, they're loyal to us. All right. They're loyal to me. They're always there. They always pay on time. Mm -hmm. You know, if they don't, then they always tell me date and they do it. Mm -hmm. um, I always ask, you know, when I see uh, the new rankings come out and, you know, the sign up date, you know, I say, hey, who's in for next year? Who's out? Oh, okay. You know, yeah. some guys are like, ah, 50 50. Like, that's the nice thing with Messenger now. You can do 50 50, like, do a poll. Yeah. So it's like, yes, no, 50 50. Right. Well, I had. Two or three guys give me a 50-50, and then um, I was like, okay, you know, by this date, let me know. Sure. So we can start looking. Yeah. And they did. You know, yeah. they were cool. They were honest about it. And then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously those guys, when I need a sub, they said, you know, sure. hit them up, yeah. you know. So, yeah. but, yeah, it's, that's the hard part because you hate, you never want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. So, like, say you're playing with us. Yeah. I don't want to be like, yeah, you're, you're gone. Mm -hmm. Because... Not because we're friends. Right. It's more of... Actually, I would say, yeah, it is because we're friends. Because then you think, okay, well, Devin or Chevy doesn't think that we're... I'm a good player, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. Type thing. Yeah. And then you've always said, I've always taken chances on you because you're you're always there. You're always honest or you're and you're hardworking. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the ones that, are, that don't ever respond or you're... Chase them down for payments. Sure. You know, like yeah. Stacy's always done. Yeah. You know, and bless her heart for doing I know. that. And, bless any, her. Other, and yeah. any other person like Lee yeah. or Jared, you know, guys that have right. multiple teams where they're chasing down people for payments. But right. that's the hard part is just Yeah. Like, right. Breaking that bond that you have, saying, Hey, I don't wanna not I, we found a replacement for you. Sure. And then their mind is like, Oh, they hate me or I'm not good enough to play with them. It's yeah. like, well, there's a thousand reasons, but right, you know. So yeah, yeah. This is probably the first year where I've had to make hard decisions like that. And Stacy's way more. Yeah, I'm the asshole, and she's the nice one. Yeah. Essentially, you know, she cares about you know. But it was more on my. It's my fault last year for not having the roster, the people in the right positions, like. Our D5 team, like, seven of those ten people could play D. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't have yeah. what and I need I, for offense, I what I need for, you know. When I can admit I made the mistake this year, mm -hmm. you know, for our bandits mm -hmm. team, just, just today, yeah. you know, one of our guys asked if he could play defense because he felt more comfortable playing forward. Yeah. You know, I forgot we have four, four defensemen. Oh, okay. You know. Right. Well, essentially, one guy can play both ways, so it's like, do I volunteer myself? Oh, you know, to go play up, or mm -hmm. you sacrifice it, or you switch. Yeah. And it's one of those things that you got to self-adjust with, but yeah, and figure out what works. But when you, it just depends on what league you're in. Sure. You know. Yeah. A lot of guys they learn to adapt. You know, like you in D five, you could play up. Mm hmm In D four plus, you play back. Mm hmm you know, It just depends on the league. Yeah. Right. You right. Know, we, somebody like me, where it's defense only, because I have no idea what to do mm -hmm. when I'm in the offensive zone. Yeah. You know, but it's just one of those things where. 
you gotta learn, you gotta learn. So. Sure. Do you get a lot of whining from your players that they want to play with a certain person on a line, and how do you deal with that? Because for me, I'm ready to shoot myself in the head. Um, <laughs> I've had issues with it in the past. Yeah. Like, issues as in like people asking. Yeah. You know, we've. I could say I've tried it mm -hmm. for a whole game and it doesn't work out. Yeah. You know, and right. it's early in the season. Sure. Sometimes it's like, hey, uh, we call it the money line. Yeah. You know, back then it was me, Bryce Alonzo, and Sellers. Right. Um, there was one one time a guy wanted to play forward with Sellers. Mm -hmm. We're like, no, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Sure. Yeah. Right, you know, right. You, you probably have that in like four plus or whatever team you're in. Right, no, like yeah. Your, like your top line. No, I'm already going through it now. Mm -hmm. Right, where I've had, and some of them have been nice about it, but I've already had like half the team asking me, well, what are we doing? And here's why I'm like, well. Yeah, like everybody, and obviously you know. everybody's got their suggestions and you, yeah. you take it in. Right. But like if you have the same core guys, you can mm -hmm. say six guys, mm -hmm. and those same six guys have played together yeah. for a full 24 game. 24 plus games. Right. You know, obviously you're going to stick to that. Yeah. I mean, the three guys, you make it work. If not, after three games, you take a guy, you know. But yeah, I've had, you know, people say, oh, I want to play with this guy. Mm -hmm. and I want to play on this line and blah, blah, blah. But you just, I mean, we're all adults. Right. You learn to say, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. You just go with what. And I'm not one like Nick. Sorry, buddy. But <laughs> I'm not one to where like, it's his way or no way. Yeah. Uh, in a sense, it's not. He he's not like that. But yeah. it's like these are the lines, and this is what we're gonna go with. Mm -hmm. Because he knows it works. Right. Obviously, you have Nick, who's played ice hockey, and he knows the game of hockey. Mm -hmm. To where me, I just know people. I know how they play, who they work with, who they don't work with. How can you match up against the other team? Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I just used my that I part of my IQ from the word. Nick makes it look so simple. Due to 20 plus years of actually playing hockey. Sure. You know, being a coach of Team USA and a bunch of junior teams. And yeah. so he knows what he's doing compared to Joe Bowler. Like so, <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I would uh, say, yeah, you get, you, and everybody gets that. You're right. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess I had it so good a few years ago where everybody bought in. That's when we had seemed the most success. No one seemed to care what we're playing for the name on the. You know, the front yeah. of the jersey, not back. It's just... And, yeah, you get your clicks. But yeah. You get the guys that – you get so used to playing with people, you know, like I spent my first three seasons playing with Sellers and Bryce. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden Bryce does Bryce, decide, Bryce got a new job so he couldn't yeah, play. He right. got a second shift job. Yeah. We'll bring in, a, you could say, a straggler, whoever it was. Mm -hmm. And it was tough. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, because you could say that was our click or like yeah. that was our little posse we had. Sure. You know, bringing in an outsider, but, yeah. you know, we made it work and yeah. we did what we could. Right. So, I mean, you pretty much just did the best you could with it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'll probably be messaging you because. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I'm always right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. About that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've always been behind where I kind of help build the teams and I kind of let Stacey handle it. But we, uh, yeah, got. So many teams going this year. I'm trying to help her out a little more. Yeah, so, but <laughs> and one with her where it's like, she pro she probably thinks, you know, I don't want. And she like you said already said she's way too nice of a person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've hung out with them as yeah. a family outside of deck hockey. Yeah. I don't ever see her get upset. No. Besides at the togs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's right. Food off the table. And yeah. Shit like that. But right. Other than that, she's she's. Again, just too nice to where it's like, nope, we're playing here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. You know, where someone like you, where it's like, okay, this is the line. And I, I'm not saying anything bad. It's no, just, no, go ahead. Here's the lines yeah. for the night. That's what yeah. we're going with. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. You know, and then that's on Monday. You play on a Friday. It could yeah. be different. could be the same. One sure. line could be different. The yeah. other two could be the same. It just, yeah. just go with whatever you feel like you need to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah, see. More therapy for me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> more yeah, more gray ears was looking for exactly. Yeah. Well, that's cool, man. You got anything for me? Or yeah, anything to tell our audience? <laughs> Could be gonna be another fun season, I believe. I think so too. It's sad that Waterloo's gone. I yeah. As much as I don't like the town of Waterloo, mm -hmm. I enjoyed going up there because you're in a different scenery. Yeah. You right, know, it's right. in, in May, and you've already played. A month and a half of the season. Right. You leave 
for a week and you go up there, you know, it's just like when I was a kid playing travel baseball or oh. you're traveling for wrestling, you know, you're yeah. there for a week and it's, you're having fun, Yeah. you know, and it was always fun because you're, you're on a, you're on a whole other team, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, I played for crew one season, but I was playing with the bandits against crew while yeah. I was up there. Yeah, yeah right, right, fun. right. Sure. You know, and I'm, and sure. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. Yeah. That summer tournament time, we finally get some of these Canadian teams. Yeah, for sure, back. man. Yeah, like yeah. the Cowboys. Great yeah, people. they were awesome. Yeah, great yeah, people. they were great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and they're a riot. I can tell you that much. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're hoping to see some of the East Coast teams come down. Mm-hmm. Nice to see maybe Louisiana make a return after a three, four year hiatus. Yeah, right. Coming up, but yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy. I don't know about you. I enjoy the. The money tournament, Scott, because there's money involved, mm-hmm. but just seeing people in their creative minds yeah. make teams, you know, work and they have success and, you know, I'm still trying to figure Nick out <laughs> you know, he does it. Right, and, right. You know, help with our D, uh, I could say D3 or D2 Bandits teams. So. Mm-hmm, sure. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely love the tourneys. Yeah, the competition is just intense because of the smaller games, of course, they are time-wise. And, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah I absolutely love them. I feel like the rankings are a little tighter because the guys that, just say Brian Larson for example, you know like, like they'll they'll get ranked to where they probably should be come tourney time. Yes. So you know that yes. evens everything out. Like you're seeing out. them. Right. You're seeing them play like five and five plus and four. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. then all of a sudden they're on a D three team. Sure. And that's actually the pace in your mind as a spectator or as a opposing player. Mm-hmm. Like oh yeah he would fit perfect in D three but you don't realize. When you play D three in the national tournament, yeah. it's like three plus yeah, D two picks, right. and you you learned it, seen it firsthand. I've seen it mm-hmm. and played in it. It's just, but it's and it's because he's so fast. Yeah, you know. And then you, all of a sudden he plays five days of that, and he goes back down to four plus or four. Mm-hmm. Or if he's in D three, mm-hmm. he's just tearing up like it's no nobody's business. Sure. Yeah. You know, but right. like it, then like you, like you said, it's just it's cool to see the the, the rankings and everybody kind of get going from here. To hear, yeah, you know, right, and who who's gonna play, who's not gonna play, who's playing with this team, is is this power line gonna get split up and yeah, you know, moved over? So right, yeah, no, it's fun, so much, it's such a blast. Yeah, mm-hmm. we need, yeah, I'd love to see Glencoe get one. To be honest, I'd love to go up there. Yeah, that I, much as I hate, I told you this, much as yeah. I hate Chicago, I wouldn't mind going to Glencoe. Yeah, oh yeah, I'd go for a weekend. You maybe right. that's maybe. If you're listening, Nick or Pat, if you guys watch <laughs> us, because we're the most entertaining people in your lives. God. That's what you told us about the last one, the podcast we attempted, and that's my fault again. Um, <laughs> replace Waterloo Memorial Day weekend with Glencoe. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. We got more ideas for you guys all year, exactly. so be ready. <laughs> ask us and we'll give them to you. Exactly. <laughs> we, we certainly will. <laughs> we will no, no, we won't. No, feel, uh, <laughs> no, that's for sure. All right, cool, man. Thanks for coming over and doing all three uh, the upper level divisions. That was awesome. Thanks for having me over. Yeah, yeah. No, like I said, thanks for letting me be on after the boss attempt at a podcast. But it's people fun. were wanting the video, and I think it's yeah. doing pretty well. I th- for you. yeah I see I think some people seem to like it. I don't know yeah I've just yeah uh, I bought some podcast equipment so maybe we'll get something going soon so maybe talk sports but that's yeah sports who cares about sports <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah absolutely well we got more guests a big guest tomorrow you're all in for a special treat oh I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not gonna, he's not gonna tell me what yeah. we Quit recording because I want to find out yeah. for myself. And then we got another guest Thursday, another guest Friday, and then hopefully uh, we'll get with Selena. Hopefully, do the ladies later in the week, but otherwise, we'll be done then. I think we do like a play. midseason? Probably not. I feel lazy. Do you want to? No, it's, it's, no, it's, <laughs> right. I know you, you don't really do one around the summer tournament, right? Yeah, we'll yeah. do a summer tourney one. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that for sure. Yeah. I would look forward to those. Yeah, I love. Yeah, we yeah we'll go we'll go big time for summer tourney. But actually, once season gets going, I don't come up for air very often. So yeah, it's <laughs> I can see that that two week uh, vacation you get is an actual vacation. A vacation for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I yeah. Betcha. 
All right, cool. Well, th yeah, thanks, man. Good luck uh, with the crew, and of course, the band is three plus. And... Good luck to you and your four teams. Oh yeah, well, they'll need it. <laughs> Our benders are back, so That's what I like yeah, to do. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that down the road. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks to our guests for coming out. And yes, sure. We'll see you soon.